Hi guys, have you ever noticed that no matter how hard you try, sometimes you just don't attract what you want into your life? Well, in this video, we are unpacking the law of vibration, the true force behind the law of attraction, and understanding how your frequency can unlock the life that you've always wanted. You know, Bob Proctor's teachings on paradigms and energy were really groundbreaking. And I'd like to show you today one of the fastest ways to become a vibrational match for what you want to attract. If you're new here, I'm Kate Wilder. I'm a manifesting teacher in my mid-60s, and I've seen firsthand how life-changing these ideas can be. But So what I'm sharing here on my channel isn't just theory. I've practiced and tested and experienced these techniques for myself from triumphs and setbacks. If you're ready to dive in and create the life you truly want, you're in the right place. Let's get straight to it. The law of attraction is a lot like gravity and physics. Let go of something and it falls. It's always pulling energy, people, and experiences into our lives like signals received from our focus and beliefs. Albert Einstein said, quote, everything is energy and that's all there is to it. Match that frequency of the reality you want and you cannot help but get that reality. It can be no other way. This is not philosophy, this is physics." End quote. Bob Proctor made this observation I thought was interesting when he said, when we leave our bodies, the energy of the body keeps vibrating and moving. That's how our bodies eventually turn to dust. It's still energy. If everything in the universe vibrates, imagine looking at yourself under a microscope and seeing every cell, every atom moving. We are not static or dynamic. It, we are energy fields in motion. And that motion is called a vibration. And here's the kicker. Each vibration emits a frequency, much like a radio station emitting different channels with different frequencies that are unique energy fields that act like magnets and attracting things to that, to match that. In that case, music or talk radio or whatever it might be. So this is the core idea behind the law of vibration. And this is also the true foundation of the law of attraction. There's no way around it. Your vibration will attract the channel or frequency that you're vibrating to. And again, that can really be no other way. The human mind holds the keys to tap into higher frequencies that are a match for what you'd like to bring into your life. You might be thinking, but how does the mind influence this vibrational law or the law of attraction? Think of your mind as divided into the two parts, of course, the conscious mind where you actively think and the subconscious mind where it stores your beliefs, your habits, and automatic reactions, and also is a receiving station for anything that you tell it. All your self-talk, your original beliefs instilled in childhood, new thoughts you programmed into it, it's like a blank computer that accepts all and believes everything you tell it, whether it's true or not, whether it's positive or not. This is inherently both the power and the downfall of an untethered subconscious mind. <laughs> so when you were born, your subconscious is wide open, soaking up everything from your environment, and storing those beliefs. These beliefs then create what Bob Proctor referred to as a paradigm, which is the collection of habits that operate under the surface in the subconscious. And this paradigm sets the tone for your vibration, whether you realize it or not. Your body is essentially a high-speed bundle of vibrating energy connected to our own computer, our brains, running the show with programs, both good and bad. These paradigms are powerful. They've been built from our environments and even our genetics, carried down through generations in some cases. Think of it this way. Our paradigm um, is like a type of energy and it influences the vibration that we're emitting. And each vibration is a thought or feeling or a positive state or a negative state. When we feel something like anxiety, worry, or anger, you don't feel good. And when you're in that state of mind, you also notice that People don't respond to you as positively as they normally would. But the moment you bring yourself out of it and back into feeling and thinking something positive again, you instantly change. You change your frequency and your point of attraction. This is where our conscious mind comes into play. We can choose to think new thoughts, better thoughts. And here's another catch. If we're conditioned to think in line with our paradigm, our thoughts and energy stay the same possibly our whole lives. And so do our results. The thoughts we think control the vibration and the feelings we feel are like amplifiers to those thoughts. And then beliefs are the collection of habitual thoughts. Vibrational frequencies are just states of being that can be changed anytime you decide. This universal principle is simple. Everything vibrates and nothing stays still. And the good news is you can raise up your vibration each day or allow yourself to mindlessly repeat what is in that subconscious paradigm 
never taking the time to question why you feel or act the way that you do. Many people go their whole lives without realizing the power they have because they feel that they're who they are and that's that, like black and white thinking sort of. But human beings were meant to continuously be flexible and grow because of the endless possibilities available to us. And we really weren't designed to settle into suffering and stagnation by our creator. So our thoughts set the tone for the energy we attract. This vibration influences our actions, our outcomes, and the people we attract, just like that radio station tuning into a certain frequency. We're aligning with people and experiences all the time that match our own vibration. So if we're stuck in a mindset of scarcity, we'll surely attract situations that match that frequency. So why can't we just think differently and change everything just like that? Because our paradigm kicks in when we try to think outside of the box. Changing a paradigm is challenging. It's uncomfortable because it's unfamiliar. Imagine you're trying to adopt a new positive idea like this video. Your paradigm might reject this at first and create resistance within you. That's where most people do give up, right at the edge of growth. This is why methods though, like affirmations and scripting and visualization and meditation actually work when given enough time and repetition. They are simply the tool to everyone who wishes to shift their paradigm, to shift their program beliefs, to shift their vibration that were put upon us possibly before the age of seven. So it's not enough to just gather knowledge and degrees if our paradigm doesn't align with our goals. You probably notice people who are incredibly smart but don't get the results they want. Often this might be because their paradigms haven't shifted. Real change does happen when we adjust our internal programming, which in turn shifts the vibration and what we attract. So here's a very quick technique to lift your vibration today. Just take a moment and think about something that you are genuinely grateful for in your life and tell yourself, I am grateful for X. It could be small or large. And say it a few times if you need to, and then stop and notice a shift in your mood. And that will help you raise up very quickly. It's a very fast path. Because when we feel good, we're in a positive vibration. We're attracting more positivity. When we're in a low mood, we attract a little more negative types of situations and moods. We attract based on the vibration we're in, which is controlled by our paradigm. So if we want to have lasting change, it's essential then to start shifting our inner frequency or vibration. Remember, feeling is simply conscious awareness of our vibration. If you want to feel better, work on raising that vibration. So how do we change our paradigm? We need to practice shifting on a daily basis, filling our minds with positive, constructive ideas that gradually replace those old limiting ones, which can take some time. And also to practice techniques that reprogram that paradigm stuck back there in that subconscious mind. You can use many techniques, and I've got a lot on my channel that might appeal to you, but do what feels right for you. Because at the core of reprogramming the subconscious can be done using many methods. There's no shortage of ideas out there. If it appeals to you, feel free to join my mailing list to receive my free Manifesting Master Shift Your Vibe newsletter. Links in the description on that. And my Manifesting Mastery playlist on YouTube and podcast has many techniques that you can start right away to help raise up your own vibration. If you need more abundance in your life and you desire to reprogram some financial beliefs, if you're ready to watch my 40-day prosperity plan, coming up here soon on YouTube Shorts that to get us ready, start prepping for that new year coming up. And that'll feature one powerful affirmation each day for 40 days in less than 30 seconds. That'll allow a lot of time for your vibe to shift. I'll be delivering more videos on Bob Proctor in this playlist too. You have been an awesome listener today. So please let me know in the comments, where in the world are you listening from? So I can say hello to you. And if you've enjoyed this episode, of course, I always love that thumbs up and a, and a subscribe as well. But either way, thank you for being here today and you have a wonderful day out there. Happy manifesting.